Now we're back. I have, there's a problem right here. Use the rule of thumb to calculate a crowd on a two mile stretch of road that ends five feet deep on both sides of the street. Okay, first thing I have, my rule of thumb, I'll put right here, is one person occupies 2.5 square feet of space. I know that has to equal to something. Okay, right now I'm looking, looking for people, so I'll put an X right here. But I have to find my area. Alright, so I'll draw a quick figure. Uh, two, two mile stretch of road, 10 feet deep, 5 feet deep on both sides. Okay, this is 5 feet, this is 5 feet. Now if I draw my rectangle, I've got to find the area of this rectangle. This, this rectangle area is length times width. All right, this is two, two, mile, two miles stretch. Now, I've got to convert. This is in miles, this is in feet. So if I convert to miles, one mile equals 5,280 feet. So two, two miles equals 10,560. Okay, two miles equals 10,560 feet. So I will replace this two feet with my conversion of 10,560 feet. Now I have my length. This is my length. This is my width. So my 5 plus 5 gave me 10 feet. So I've got 10 feet deep and 10,560 feet long. So I multiply 10,560 times 10. This will give me 105 thousand feet. Okay? Now, since I have that area, I can come and I replace this area with this right here. Okay? I see right off the bat. All I have to do now is to cross multiply. This is feet squared also. Now, if I cross multiply here, I uh, will have 2.5 x equals to 10,500. Now, algebra says all I have to do is to divide both sides by 2.5. So I divide 2.5, divide this by 2.5, and that will give me my, uh, X is going to equal to 42,240 people. Okay, so but now I've got people up here to feed. I need my people up here. This is 42,240. Okay, as simple as that. People to area, people to area. The only problem is you will have to convert your feet, whatever dimensions you have. If I have my dimensions in uh, in feet and uh, inches, I've got to convert to one unit and then find the area. Do not forget, the area of a rectangle is equal to length times width. If I give you any other figure, then you use something else. But for now, it's going to be length times width for a rectangle. All right? As simple as that. Now. After this, I'll do one more problem for you guys, and hopefully that should suffice with your constant practice, okay?